Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, Rick emailed me and asked if I would do a piece on desert varnish. It's an interesting material. Um, it's found on the surfaces of rocks in dry desert areas, a lot in the southern parts of the US. Um, very often in the past, the, the local Native Americans would scratch stick figures and do general art by just scraping away the thin surface of the desert varnish. So you see a lot of these petroglyphs scattered around in those rocks. And what that shows is that the stuff forms very slowly. Those petroglyphs were made probably thousands of years ago and they're still very clear. So the places where the desert varnish was scratched off, it didn't really reform very quickly. So it's an ancient material. But the really interesting thing is that desert varnish has been found on Mars. The uh, Viking landers in 1976 um, found evidence, sketchy evidence of it in their photographs. Um, you can just see a shiny rock with sort of a purplish tinge to it, which sort of suggested it. But since then, uh, Mars rovers crawled all over the place are finding desert varnish pretty much everywhere they look. Um, and it's not surprising because it's a dry desert area. What is surprising is that geologists can't quite agree on what this stuff is made out of. Um, it's heavy in manganese, which is not a common sort of material that we'll just be using around the surface of rocks. And it's been suggested that bacteria deep inside the rocks, these extremophiles that are digesting the rock, are producing the manganese as a waste product. So it's kind of bacteria poop. Um, which would, if that's true, that would imply there's, there's life on Mars, or at least was at some time in the distant past. Um, but it's not certain. There are other mechanisms. Some people claim that the material oozes out onto the surface of the rock through natural processes, and bacteria and diatoms and things like that just get stuck on it, and that would explain the surface material and the high levels of manganese. So if the material just oozes out and nothing lands on it, then we ought to find, when we look at desert varnish on Mars, that it's, it's different from desert varnish on Earth because it doesn't have any bacteria stuck in it. But it looks identical. I mean, really, it is, you couldn't tell just looking whether you're looking at a picture of Mars or a picture of the deserts of Arizona or whatever. So that is very interesting.